Hey, what is up guys? It's your boy Speed here, and today I got a tier list for Eevee Heroes. Now, in specific, I got five very clean tiers here. Uh, let's go over them. Let's just start right off the bat and get into the tiers. So, coming in at the bottom, the worst here is the I go to Walmart at 4.30 a.m. The second worst one is I sold a CGC 5.5 Doug Trio Base Unlimited Rare for $368 on whatnot tier. Then we have a nice binder card tier, a must grade tier, and the Blaziken alt art tier. Um, so those are our five tiers we'll be ranking all of the Eevee Hero uh, cards from. And uh, yeah, nonetheless, if you're excited for this video, I'd really appreciate it if you could smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. Also, I'm thinking of some crazy ideas for the upcoming box break we'll be hosting this weekend. I'll let you know the official stuff on a YouTube community time post here or on my Instagram story. If you're not following me or, or subscribed to the channel or followed to me on, on Instagram, go do that now and subscribe to the channel right now. We're trying to get to 10,000 subs. We're halfway there and uh, let's do it. But okay, let's get into the tier list. So I'm going to try to keep this video short. I always say that and then the video is like 15 minutes, but let's do it. I think this is like Turfield. I mean, I don't know. If you actually pull one of these cards, I genuinely feel bad for you. There's actually another one that is really awful. This guy. This might be the worst trainer card of all time. Now, I don't even know his name. I'm not going to bother to look it up. He doesn't deserve it. He stays at the bottom. I mean, think about it. That's the type of guy. Look at him. He goes, he really does. I'm 100% sure this guy goes to Walmart at 4.30 a.m. to scoop up cards. By the way, I, I don't actually care if it. <laughs> but right, next one. I think this is like the gold darkness. To be honest, not as bad. I, I'm a fan of the gold energy cards. I think like fire... I, what set is the fire energy from? Is that burning shadows? Nonetheless, there's a dope gold fire energy. The, the gold uh, cards in general are fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. So scooping those up having a collection of them definitely would recommend now also one side note you guys may, might be saying like why don't you have better pictures i tried literally for the last like hour and a half i've been trying to get these nice photos that jpcollector.com has but then i download them and it's like an html chrome file not that you care so let's get back into it all right i mean we got a flurry on v you know realistically I can put these cards in nice binder cards. Um, I'm, a, I'm a little bit on the fence. I'm on the fence because you get so many of them. You really do. You open up a booster box, you're probably going to get four or five of them. Um, and so they're all over the place. I I do think they're nice binder cards, though. Um, the Flareons... Flare, I, do, I, do, I, I like the Flareon, okay? I like the Flareon in, in specific. I think that's one of the better ones, to be fair. Um, then is... Vaporeon didn't even get a VMAX. I didn't know this at the time, but I was looking at, like, the set list. Certain EVs just didn't even get a VMAX. I think they picked, like, the more popular ones, I believe. I actually don't even think that's true. Who knows? We got Vaporeon. I'm going to say I'm not a fan of Vaporeon. I think it's one of the worst ones. You can, you can hate on Hey, You can comment down below which is the best EV right now. Go do that. Oh, by the way. There's a giveaway going on. Oh, where do I where did I put the card? My Charmeleon. There's a giveaway going on. It's for a Charmeleon. Oh, here it is. Right underneath my Chipotle. You can see I'm very organized. We got a, a, a Charmeleon. This is going to be given free to one of you guys. All you got to do is comment something down below. And I have to see that you commented on like one of the last two videos. I don't just do like one video giveaway because then I'm just going to give it to someone who doesn't really care about the channel. And that's pretty mediocre. So comment down below. And if I notice you as a consistent viewer and commenter, you will win a free card. And we'll be doing this consistently for the next, like, year. So you should definitely stay tuned. Then we have Glaceon. I'm a fan of Glaceon. I'll put it in this list. I think all the VMAXs, to be perfectly honest, are easily um, binder cards. I mean, how could they not be, right? These VMAX cards in general are just absolutely beautiful. Having a binder of these, these EVs and their VMAX counterparts is definitely awesome. And... Personally, for me, I just ran out of EV boxes. I sold all of them or cracked them all on stream or opened them for fun myself. I actually do do that from time to time. But um, it's a fantastic binder set. I cannot stress how, how good I think this set actually is, um, considering how many EV collectors there actually are. So definitely a set I would hold long term and pick up a, uh, just pick up a couple of sealed boxes of. But next up, we got the Jolteon. 
Does anyone actually like Jolteon? Espeon is super overrated. Sylveon VMAX, we're chilling. Umbreon, another... Under oh, these two are just overrated, in my opinion. Like, one thing I will say, this card would literally be maybe Blaziken Altar tier or Musk Raid tier if it was Shiny. Shiny Umbreon is the Scheitzer. It really is, because it's blue, which is a fantastic color. And so, I don't know. It's a little bit overrated, right? Like, you might see this card getting posted up on whatnot. So, probably gonna, yeah, probably gonna keep that down here. Then we got the full arts, man. I would love to... <laughs> this video from here on might be a little boring. I'm gonna keep it real. I mean, how can you hate on the hate on these Japanese full arts or the new full arts that Pokemon's doing? I mean, they're so good. They're so good. Easily, I mean, Muskrate, do I say Muskrate, though? I should probably make a new tier. I think for the next one, I'll have a difference between, like, bulk grade and then, like, express grade. Obviously, right now, things are a little bit weird. I wouldn't grade almost anything right now. I definitely wouldn't grade any modern cards um, with, like, express services right now. I would consider CGC bulk. Like, that's the only thing I would consider for these cards right now. Uh, besides maybe like the Umbreon alt art, which we'll get to. But I think for these full arts, for now, we'll keep it to nice binder card. I definitely think like if you want to submit these bulk CGC, even with all like the people freaking out about slabs. Yeah, I have no idea what's going to happen. But if you want to take a bet and you want to grade stuff bulk, I would do the full arts. Just Japanese full arts in general are very, very desirable. Um, and I think they will be for a long time. Then we have the Altar Leafeon. This is uh, any of these alt arts to me are must grades. Yes, once again, I, I would hold off right now. I would not pay three hundred bucks. I wouldn't pay one hundred fifty bucks to grade these. Maybe I would pay seventy five at PSA if I think it's a ten. You probably could have some margin there um, if you're trying to make money. But um, for now, yeah, definitely chill. It is a tier. We're in a weird time right now, all right? We're, it's a weird time. I'm keeping the tiers like this though for now. Full art once again. The Flareon will keep it there. Alt art up top. Full art here. By the way, these these alt arts, guys, so beautiful. I even think, like, if Pokemon stays strong, these cards will explode. I mean, come on. My, I will say my only fear, though, is that there's going to become so many... There's going to be so many alt arts and secret rares that there's going to be too many to buy. And that will kind of, like, flush them out. What do you guys think? Do you think that there's too many secret rares, too many full arts, too many alt arts... And that's going to hurt the price of them overall, right? It's going to bring down every all of the prices. Or do you think they're too good, they're so good, that it simply won't matter? What do you think? I'm kind of on, I'm kind of more on the page where it just won't matter. I think the cards are just art. I believe, really believe, like, they're art. The pull rates are really low, right? It's typically one per box. And so, I think that's what Pokemon's trying to do. They're trying to have a wide variety but low pull rates. And I think that will keep the prices high. I, I, I do like that strategy from Pokemon. I feel like they probably know what they're doing. Obviously, I can't say for sure. But okay. Vaporeon. This card's really dope. I have one. Wait. No. Frick. I think I put it at the bottom of the pile. Um, it's really nice. Like, man, these alt arts in person, guys. I cannot I cannot stress how good they are. Then we got the Glaceon. Glaceon um, alt art. Then we got the Jolteon. Honestly, like... One card I will say that is actually the best is the Blaziken Alt Art. Oh my! You guys might be saying that, like, speed. Blaziken Alt Art isn't even an EV heroes. Like, why is it on this tier list? It honestly doesn't really matter. Um, believe it or not, it should be an EV heroes. Uh, it was actually a mistake from Pokemon. They meant to put it in EV heroes again. You might be saying why it was in Matchless Fighters and it's going to be in Chilling Rains. Why would you want an EV hero? EV heroes. Well, I mean, the reason is because it's the best card, right? Uh, there hasn't been ever a better card. Some people say, you know, first edition Charizard, maybe the, the BGS 10, uh, Logan has, or, uh, Gary has, well, no, it, it, not quite. It's almost at the level of the Blaziken alt art. Not there yet. So I think from now on what Pokemon's going to be doing, they're going to be putting this card in every single set. Uh, no doubt in my mind that that's going to be the case. And I think that's the right decision. So props to them then is this the i haven't seen this one actually i haven't seen a single one of this one pulled and I, I watch quite a bit of streams like i lurk in people's streams and videos and stuff well i guess you're not really lurking in videos but you get the point um espion 
this one's dope. I love the background of this Espeon. If you've seen it, it looks fantastic. So I'll put that in the Musgrade. Once again, I'm not telling you to grade right now. I'm not telling you to spend 300 bucks. Okay, I know I'm going to get comments like, Speed, you're such a fool. No one should listen to you. I'm disliking your video, and you're the reason why the community is collapsing. Okay, uh, then we have the Sylveon. Yeah, as I said, okay, the, the cards that get really interesting that I actually would consider express grading, which I said earlier, I'll put them here for now, even though they don't deserve to be here. Um, the Umbreon, actually, I'll just put them at the front. So, this is the Umbreon alt art. This card is beautiful. It really is. Uh, I'm sorry. No, I have the wrong one. Oh, I'm so stupid. This card is beautiful, but it des deserves to be here. I'm, I'm thinking of this one. You know, it's really funny how it looks like really similar to the Blaziken. It's both like them like towering over buildings. I guess that's kind of like the main idea here. Because even if you look at the, the Sylveon, right? Even if you look at the Sylveon, it does look really, really nice. Uh, it is a beautiful card. Let me try to zoom in real quick. Just so you guys can see it. Um, the Sylveon and... Yeah, I'll move to here just in case my webcam's blocking now. But these cards, they kind of like... What Pokemon seemingly is doing is just making them, like, much bigger than buildings. And it really is cool. Like, even though it's kind of a... I'm not going to say it's cheesy, but it's a bit of a weird concept. It's beautiful. Like, this Umbreon with the moon, it makes so much sense. It's an awesome concept. It looks so fantastic. Blaziken at the dojo. Um, what is... Uh, where are the other ones? Sylveon? Sylveon just seems to be sort of in, like, in a weird desert or something. I don't really know what Sylveon is doing. Uh, where's the... There's one more. Where is it? I, I sw Oh, it's this one, I think. I think it's this one. So the Vaporeon as well. Um, but getting back to my point with grading, I would definitely consider grading these. I know 300 bucks is a lot, but I think there's potential there. Honestly, at the time of this video coming out, the set's been out probably for too long. Um, in the future, what I will say is if you guys can quickly identify when a new set comes out, if you can identify what is going to be this best card, what's going to be this this alt art that people are paying 500 bucks for, which is nutty, for like the Umbreon. Um, if you can identify that, I will say that there's probably, I don't have the numbers, but there's probably potential with grading even for $300. Uh, I would imagine if you can get the first, second, third, 10, you could probably flip it for about $200, $300 profit. I don't know for sure, but based on like my experience within the current grading scene, uh, that, that is likely possible. And so keep that in mind. Definitely keep that in mind. Uh, let's quickly zoom back out. And by the way, if the, if this you, if you guys are watching on phone, on your phone, and it's like a little bit hard to see, I'll try to zoom for the next one. I'll just fix it for the next one. So don't worry. We're, al we're always improving. We're always improving. Umbreon Full Art, honestly, this one is a must read in my opinion. Definitely up there. Aroma Lady, nah, it's a nice binder card. I don't know. I, does she even deserve to be up there? It's such a mediocre card. Like, they didn't even give her nice... I mean, they didn't, um, um, that's, they, she has a great personality, but not, not a, she's not, um, outgoing enough. Then we have the Rainbow Rares, and, you know, like, I think it's cool what they're doing. They seemingly, I don't think there was, was there Rainbow Rares and Mattress Fighters? Yeah, there was, because there's a Blazing one, I know that. Uh, but they're really nice. I like them. I think, like, the uh, the Umbreon one in specific is a gradable card. Once again, not at the current level, but really nice. These are super nice cards. Honestly, as binder cards, they look fantastic. But personally, I'm a massive fan of Rainbow Rares and Golds and Slabs. They look fantastic. The contrast of the slab to the gold and the rainbow looks so good. Like, clear with these different colors, it looks so nice. If you don't believe me, you need to buy one and look at it in person. And you'll see what I'm talking about. Uh, oh, does does Leafeon have its own weird alt art? Well, I guess it does. I just haven't seen them. Like the main one I've 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 paid attention to is the Umbreon for good reason. I believe it's the most expensive. But all right, we'll wrap up. I guess the video about there, uh, Aroma Lady Rainbow Rare. I mean, I guess it's a little bit better if you pull that. To be fair, this guy, nah, he can just stay at the bottom. He definitely, you know, even even in his rainbow form, um, he's still definitely at the bottom. Then we have Inteleon. I don't even know why this is in the set. It makes no sense. They're just like, yeah, Inteleon. And then a uh, water bottle. Like, are you serious? But nonetheless, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, I'll be doing one of these for Chilling Rains very soon. Uh, I'll continue to just, I don't know, improve. But yeah, unfortunately, nothing in EV Heroes was able to stand up uh, to the test that Blaziken Alt Art has put in front. 
But, uh, yeah. <laughs> nonetheless, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one, and I'm out. Peace.